Okay, and welcome back to uh, Aquafield School. This is the Monday morning on the week six, which is the fifth week on the main excavation site. We've lost a couple of people, but we've gained a new one. Say hi, Erica. Hello. I'll have a chat with her in a minute. Um, things are going great. We're well on with the excavation of the interior, and you can see there's lots and lots of features, as we predicted there would be, in this interior. Um, still haven't got a clear idea of what's happening, but I would imagine by the end of this week um, we will have all of this stuff excavated and be able to have a look at the ground plan of the features and see if we are talking about individual buildings within the, um, the enclosed area or whether we're talking about one big building with a, a, a large roof covering the whole thing. We haven't as yet in this area found any of the really deep post holes. Everything's quite shallow. Um, we've got lots of stake holes turning up. Um, you can see them all around camera in there. Uh, we've got some new one just coming in there. Probably two or three down there maybe. This is probably the biggest uh, post hole we've got so far. And interestingly, that's right up against where we think the wall is. So, well, where the wall is, I don't think it. The wall's coming through up to this stone right there. So, that's quite nice to see the big ones at the edge. Um, that may be important later on, but let's not get carried away. Um, and over here, Erica. Where are you from, Erica? California. She's from California. She's from Sacramento, or very near. <laughs> um, Erica is just starting on this wall. You remember, this wall is the big one that seems to overlie the enclosure or the building. It seems to be the end of a field wall, um, which probably matches up with the Danish ditch over there that, that runs over. Um, so we're just trying to get down now onto the solid, more solid walling just to see how this one was constructed. So that shouldn't take too long. And then we've got one more trench to start over the Danish ditch just as it leaves this site. We're just going to put a little one over there. Now that's the plan for this week. Um, oh, Carolyn, what have you got in your hand? A baby trowel. <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> Certainly not called a plasterer's leaf, is it? No. <laughs> so yeah, if the weather holds, this is going to be a great week because this is the uh, the real heart of the matter now. And we'll see you later on. Okay, well, uh, it's end of Tuesday on week six, uh, week five for this part of the courses. Um, we were digging in the interior and on the back wall and I think as you can see now we've really got an abundance of features in here um, some of which are very considerable post holes so we've the first one there that's a whopper um, this which um, is just gigantic it's, it looks like it's suffered a lot of slumping um, so it's now wider than it would have been unless it's a, a pit that's been carefully shaped. Carolyn's got another one here. Uh, just scoop that out at the bottom and show them how deep that is. I think that goes down. Yeah. So another really deep one. Um, way down in there. Uh, so there's certainly three or four very big features come up. Now quite what they're doing we don't know but they do seem to be maybe following the perimeter if that's the wall these seem to be set you know around a meter a meter and a half inside the wall which would match up with the really big ones that we saw in here which were about there maybe they're a bit bit closer to the the middle of the building um but that would be rather consistent with this being a house rather than an enclosure that there would just be some very big timber superstructure inside supporting a really big roof covering the whole area 
well you know um, our interpretations of this site do keep changing uh, which is you know the fun of excavation that you find these things out as you go along but that's certainly starting to look like a, a good possibility um, that we're in fact dealing with another really big really um, substantial roundhouse even if it's slightly oval shaped be a roundhouse um, continuing the tradition of, of supersized arch architecture up on Sleevemore with roundhouse one and roundhouse two were, were gigantic things so um, I quite like that but anyway that's that's all just speculation at the moment we've got to finish off there's maybe a meter a meter and a half left of this interior band so we've still got we've got like a day maybe a day and a half of digging left before we have we have to stop and then get on with the recording um, so hopefully we can we can get a good few more features out even if we don't get the whole lot um, but that'll be uh, so you know by Friday we need to start drawing um, so yeah yeah you know getting towards the end of this project for this year anyway now this is coming on really well this is this uh, back wall where we had thought that we had the um, the continuation of the enclosure wall and, and then it turned out that was going off in that direction and it's clearly that line we had this big thing and it was you know a great big mass of soil and with some rocks sticking out of it so finally had the time to come over here and, and really cut down to it and you can see now the solid core of the wall is shifted over and it's here and there really can't be any doubt that it's a separate feature from the wall of the enclosure of the building which is over here um, so it's great to see that shift across and you can see you know that solid wall in there it might be you know in, in not the best condition but it's solid so that's another really nice thing that's come up today um, so we just uh, you can actually see then the, the soil down there is the soil that's in the um, it's the 103 it's the layer that's in that center of the enclosure wall and we're seeing it underneath this this big stone wall so that really proves what we've been saying about this uh, that this is definitely a later feature built over that building coming round that way so that's wonderful um, you know the guy's been working very hard um, we've had this finished off pretty soon now um, which is great clean it up get it recorded and we can get everyone back into this this interior to one last push to finish off these features and the big one the, the, the one that's probably most interesting at the moment is this rather rectangular looking pit here uh, with these big stones sticking out of it uh, behind Abbey there so that'll be a job for Thursday trying to figure out what that is whilst we record all this stuff the amount of paperwork this all generates is of course crazy um, anyway that's us for now Right, well, it's the end of the sixth week, the penultimate week for these guys at the site, uh, the penultimate week for this site for this year, as it happens. Very close to getting finished now uh, in terms of excavation. You can surely see the sheer amount of features we did find inside the interior. What you got? Oh. <laughs> so, um, you can see now over here, we've really got these monstrous uh, big features this this one's huge uh, great big post all going down uh, Carolyn's trying to get to the bottom of a really big one right there we've exposed back to the edge of the wall face now uh, just in this one spot so we've got all this band of rubble but we went uh, we put a sondage through to get up to that that wall face and now we're seeing a big line of post holes, one right up against it one, here, one there coming round so you know that to me is very much looking like that we're looking at a, a building rather than an enclosure and that we've got an absolutely monstrous big uh, not quite round house uh, a big oval house and, uh, 
yeah it's fabulous so a lot of work to do next week we've got to get the whole thing drawn um, and there's some some written records that still need to be done and some photography we've got the field wall all beautifully clean now and then you can see the full mass of it um, so there's the house coming around and now we've got the field wall and I think that's pretty conclusive at this stage but we made a discovery today um, I think we made a discovery today we seem to have found a very cool artifact in the pit where Cameron is working um, it's just over here All right, Abby, would you like to introduce them to Rocky? His name's Rocky. <laughs> so is. His name is Jackie. <laughs> so, I, honestly, I hate things like this. It's a modified stone um, because they're terrible. But look, they've very clearly pecked out two circular holes into that pebble now it's a quartz the pebble has got uh, yeah and he's got a, a jawline being done do you want to do the trick because uh, this is pretty cool so that seems to be representative anthropomorphic art from the bronze age it's really really rare to get representational stuff this way when you get him wet look at the white size now so that's Rocky, and yeah, he's very cool. <laughs> this isn't going to evoke because I'm not going to win it. But um, yeah, I, think I know, I know what you're thinking. It's, it's just a rock, but it's not. It's um, it's pretty sensational. That is. Um, there are a handful of. Uh, there's nothing similar to that that I know of. Um, there are a handful of examples of good um, representational art from this period. Um, so, brilliant, brilliant find. A great way to finish off what's been a, a great excavation season. So, uh, we'll get on. We've still got a lot of work to do. Uh, we'll see you next week.